How much do we truly understand about the objects that slip silently through the vastness of interstellar space? How certain can humanity really be when labelling a celestial wanderer a comet, when the evidence repeatedly contradicts the traditional definition? And perhaps the most unsettling question of all, what if an interstellar visitor is not just different, but something that cannot be governed, tracked, or even categorised by the world's most advanced space agency? Such troubling questions have now emerged around the mysterious body known as 3I Atlas, officially designated 3I slash Atlas. Though mainstream reports initially described it as another interstellar comet, new data and contradictory observations suggest that this object may not only defy standard cometary behavior, but could also be slipping beyond the operational control of NASA and other leading institutions. When scientists first traced its entry path, Many assumed it was simply another rare visitor like Umumua or Tue Borisov. But from the very beginning, the strangeness surrounding Three-Eye Atlas raised suspicions. Yet the closer experts looked, the more this so-called comet refused to behave like any natural comet humanity had ever seen. In the earliest stages of its detection, Astronomers were puzzled to find that the object displayed signs of activity at distances where no comet should be active. At roughly 900 million kilometers, or about five to six astronomical units from Earth, 3I Atlas showed a visible halo-like glow. Under normal circumstances, such a distance is far too cold for sublimation to begin. Sublimation, the process in which frozen materials like water, carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide convert directly into gas, usually starts only when a comet moves closer to the sun, its surface warmed enough to release volatile gases. Yet here was an interstellar object that appeared to be alive with activity long before solar radiation should have had any effect. This peculiar activity has only been one in a long string of anomalies. Light polarization tests revealed behavior that no comet in recorded history had ever exhibited. Polarization, the way light waves oscillate as they scatter off an object, generally falls within well-studied categories for both solar system comets and the two known interstellar comets. But in the case of 3I Atlas, the object demonstrated extreme negative polarization so deep and so narrow that it could not be matched with any cometary data. Its behavior was not only out of step with every observed comet, but it also suggested that much of the light did not appear to be reflected sunlight at all. Instead, the object seemed to be emitting a glow of its own, an unnerving quality for something supposedly natural. The matter becomes even stranger when one considers its tail, or rather, its lack of a conventional one. Comets usually trail a bright plume of dust and gas pointing away from the sun carried by solar radiation pressure. But 3I Atlas has produced what astronomers describe as an anti-tail an elongation that stretches towards the sun in direct opposition to what physics predicts. Only a tiny handful of comets, fewer than 10 out of more than 8,000 recorded, have ever displayed such behavior, and even those were largely illusions of perspective. For 3I Atlas, however, geometric corrections rule out the possibility of illusion. What observers see is very real, a vast anti-tail extending towards the sun, an impossible configuration that no known comet has ever achieved. Equally baffling is its composition. Most comets carry icy nuclei rich in water that vaporizes as they near the sun. Spectroscopic analysis of 3I Atlas has shown almost no water, with only faint traces detected by the James Webb Space Telescope. Instead, the object is dominated by carbon dioxide outgassing at extraordinary levels, an estimated 70 kilograms per second, or about 150 pounds each second, expelled into space. In contrast, the water emission is barely 4.5 kilograms per second, less than even the tiniest comets known. Such a skewed ratio between carbon dioxide and water has never been seen before. Even more strangely, carbon monoxide, another volatile gas common in comets, is nearly absent. The chemical anomalies deepen further. The presence of nickel in the object's emission stream without any detectable iron is an unprecedented feature. In natural settings, nickel and iron typically appear together, particularly in meteorites and nickel-iron asteroids. To encounter nickel alone suggests an unusual process or origin. 
Some analysts have speculated that this unusual chemistry mirrors alloys manufactured in human industries, such as nickel-titanium memory metals. If that interpretation holds, it could imply that 3i Atlas is not purely natural at all. Size estimates have also provoked debate. Depending on whether its brightness comes directly from the nucleus or from icy fragments around it, its diameter could range anywhere from 5 kilometers to as large as 46 kilometers. Even at the smaller end, it is gargantuan compared to 2i Borisov, which measured less than 1 kilometer. If the larger estimate is correct, the nucleus of 3i Atlas would carry a thousand times the mass of Borisov, making it not only massive, but statistically improbable. Based on probability models, objects of such scale should only cross the solar system once every 10 to 20,000 years. The sudden appearance of one, only a few years after the passage of Oumuamua and Borisov, seems suspiciously coincidental. Trajectory analysis has added yet another layer of intrigue. Unlike Oumuamua or Borisov, which cut across the solar system on steep angles, 3i Atlas follows a path closely aligned with the plane of the ecliptic, the flat disk where planets orbit. The odds of such alignment happening naturally are estimated at 500 to 1. Even more disconcerting is the timing. This trajectory brings the object close to three major planets, Venus, Mars and Jupiter, within less than one astronomical unit each. Such proximity could allow for potential interactions, whether gravitational or, in the more speculative scenarios, deliberate. For a natural object, the chance of this precise timing and alignment is vanishingly small. For an artificial object, however, such manoeuvring could be intentional. Taken together, these characteristics paint a troubling picture. An object too active at vast distances, glowing when it should only reflect, spewing carbon dioxide without water, laced with anomalous nickel, too large to appear statistically, and approaching on a trajectory that intersects key planets. To many in the independent research community, it looks less like a comet and more like something that does not fit into any existing category. Yet mainstream astronomy has largely insisted on labelling it a comet. To some, this reflects a broader reluctance to admit ignorance. If it looks a little like a comet, moves like a comet in certain respects, and can be loosely described as comet-like, then the label is applied. But that leaves the fundamental question unanswered, what if this is not a comet at all? The matter escalates further when considering control. NASA and other agencies rely on predictive models to track celestial objects, calculating gravitational influences and plotting future paths. But with 3i Atlas, those models are plagued with uncertainties. The unusual activity, inconsistent outgassing and anomalous composition complicate the calculations. Even slight deviations could send predictions astray, meaning that NASA's grip on the situation may be far weaker than the public assumes. In effect, 3i Atlas may be beyond their control, a rogue visitor immune to categorization and resistant to tracking. And so the story continues to grow darker. If humanity cannot even define what this object is, much less accurately predict its behavior, then how prepared are we to face the possibility of other interstellar visitors, whether natural, artificial, or something else entirely? The uncertainties surrounding 3i Atlas raise unsettling implications for planetary defense. If one object can evade accurate modeling and resist classification, then what about others that might follow? Humanity's defensive strategies against near-Earth objects rely on predicting orbits, estimating mass, and anticipating possible collisions. But 3i Atlas challenges every step of that process. Its early activity, strange emissions, and unpredictable brightness make it exceedingly difficult to pin down. A planet-killer asteroid can at least be modelled with some precision. But how does one defend against something that refuses to behave according to the rules? For NASA, the challenge is not just technical but reputational. The agency is built on authority on the ability to claim that it can track and forecast the movement of hazardous space objects. But the admission that 3i Atlas may be outside its control undermines that perception. To acknowledge such unpredictability is to expose vulnerability, and that, in turn, may explain why so many in the mainstream insist on keeping the comet label fixed. The word suggests familiarity.
a category with known behaviours, even if the details are unconventional. To admit otherwise would invite public fear and a loss of confidence. Yet the evidence keeps mounting that this object belongs to no existing category. Even if one were to accept the argument that 3i Atlas is simply an extremely strange comet, the scale of its deviations forces a reckoning. How far can an object differ from the norm before it becomes something else entirely? At what point do anomalies accumulate into a new class of object? Some independent astronomers have suggested that 3i Atlas represents a new population of interstellar bodies, objects whose chemistry and physics are unlike anything previously observed. Others go further, speculating about artificial origin, the nickel without iron, the controlled seeming trajectory along the ecliptic, the convenient planetary flybys, all suggest design rather than chance. If it is a natural object, then its existence forces the rewriting of astronomical models on interstellar populations. If it is not natural, then humanity may be facing something far more profound. The artificial hypothesis has long been controversial. When Oumuamua passed through the solar system in 2017, Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb famously argued that it could be artificial, perhaps a fragment of alien technology. His suggestion was met with criticism, even ridicule, but he pointed out that dismissing anomalies too quickly hinders discovery. In the case of 3i Atlas, the anomalies are even greater a thousand times more massive than Borisov, far more active at vast distances and bizarre in chemical makeup, it refuses to fit the natural template. If 3i Atlas is artificial, what purpose does it serve? Some argue it could be a derelict craft, drifting from a civilization long gone. Others suggest it could be a probe, deliberately entering the solar system to study its planets. Its path near Venus, Mars and Jupiter may not be a coincidence at all, but a strategy to gather data or even to deploy smaller instruments. While such ideas remain speculative, the fact remains that the probabilities against natural chance are enormous, tens of thousands to one by some calculations, even up to a million to one depending on how often interstellar objects enter the solar system. For the public, such speculation often blurs into conspiracy. But for those willing to examine the data without preconceived notions, the questions cannot be ignored. Why would an object display activity at 900 million kilometers from the sun? Why would it glow instead of merely reflect? Why would it release carbon dioxide in vast amounts while nearly ignoring water? Why would nickel be present without iron, a ratio unseen in natural comets? Why would it align perfectly with the ecliptic? And why would its path intersect three planets? The broader scientific debate exposes a divide between institutional conservatism and independent curiosity. Institutions, bound by reputation and political constraints, prefer safe classifications. Independent researchers, less beholden to funding and public relations, are free to consider the unorthodox. This dynamic has played out repeatedly in astronomy, from the resistance to heliocentrism centuries ago to the denial of exoplanets until their overwhelming confirmation in the 1990s. Each time, scepticism delayed recognition of new realities. Each time, data eventually forced a change. Perhaps 3i Atlas will one day be explained as a natural phenomenon. After all, its oddities resolved with new models of cometary behaviour. Or perhaps it will stand as the first member of a new category, neither asteroid nor comet, but something else entirely. The most radical possibility is that it will be remembered as the first undeniable evidence of artificial design beyond Earth. Whatever the truth, it underscores a reality that NASA and the astronomical community must face. Humanity cannot always control, predict or neatly classify the cosmos. Some visitors will arrive on their own terms, refusing to conform to expectations. The fact that NASA's grip appears to be slipping with 3i Atlas is both humbling and alarming. It demonstrates the limits of human knowledge, the fragility of predictive models, and the vast unknowns that still lurk beyond the solar system. It also emphasizes the need for openness in science. To call every anomaly a comet is not to explain it, but to dismiss it. To admit uncertainty is not weakness, but honesty, and honesty may be the first step toward genuine understanding. 
As astronomers continue to track Three-Eye Atlas, its mysteries remain unresolved. Its anti-tail stretches toward the sun. Its emissions defy chemistry. Its trajectory hugs the planetary plane, and its massive size looms as an outlier against all probability. Whether natural or artificial, it is a messenger from the stars, carrying secrets that humanity has yet to decipher. The world watches as data accumulates, but answers remain elusive. And in the silence between those data points lies the most unsettling possibility, that this interstellar traveller is beyond NASA's control, beyond classification, beyond our current science. What it represents, cosmic coincidence, natural anomaly, or deliberate design, may change the way humanity sees its place in the universe. For now, the mystery of Three-Eye Atlas remains. And as the debates continue, one thing is certain. The cosmos has once again reminded humanity that certainty is an illusion and control is only ever partial. The visitor moves on, indifferent to names, categories, or human authority, leaving behind more questions than answers. Thank you for following this investigation. If you want more deep dive explorations into cosmic mysteries like this, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And most importantly, tap that hype icon to help push this video out to a wider audience. Every tap helps spread awareness of discoveries that may change how we see the universe.